welcome to the channel everybody I'm Bundy aka Bundy games and in today's video we are back with Mafia definitive edition chapter 13 Bon Appetit so <laughs> I'm laughing at myself um, in the last chapter a great deal Paulie had an idea to make a deal with uh, Gates from Kentucky to uh, make it look like we hijacked his truck of booze and uh, Morello's guys actually came to high track, hijack excuse me, the truck of booze so we ended in a gunfight in a um, parking garage but we were able to make it out okay and uh, at the end of the episode I'm sorry at the end of the chapter uh, there was a celebration so we're gonna get into this new chapter but first there's an intermission let's get into it right now Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Woken up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. Oh, that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into no records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. By 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri. He finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Salieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Wait. Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off one another, trying to goose the take. But once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. It was a missing piece. How was that? Morello was always winding us up. But he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales. Because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. face and pasted it hey, on his face. Tommy. Oh, hey, boss. What's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. You want a Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy as all. Okay. That was interesting. So, um... Yeah, there was a lot of dialogue. I didn't get everything that they were talking about. But uh, apparently things are gonna... Uh, hit the fan now with Morello. And look at this fancy car. these graphics
Look at the hay. Okay, now now we're really stuck in traffic. I can't use the shoulder because there's a vehicle trying to get into the traffic at a signal light. Oh, this is terrible. I could use a shoulder. Not the shoulder, the sidewalk. So how's business, Tom? Hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened happened, I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. I guess we're mixing with a better sort of person now. And I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pad. Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up for a slice. Glad to hear it. What's his problem? He's gone. Go back to patrol. Must be nice for you. Some time away from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. Well, that's a better conversation, boss. I'll give you that. <laughs> sure I am. Me, Sam, and Polly, though, but we're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, don't I know it. So by driving on the sidewalk, I got the, uh, the cops on me. Good thing it was only a one star. Because I would have messed this beginning up for me. I think I'm on the sidewalk again. Can I go through this grass? Okay. Man, it'd be bad driving this car at night with that little windshield. Do it. Okay, where's Pippi? Is Pippi is out in the country? Man, if Frank was worried about always looking under his car and looking on the, over his shoulder, the Don should really be worried. That's a hard life to live. Tom, this ain't early. In fact, it's getting kind of late. Now he's telling me I'm taking too long. You should have drove yourself. I'm pretending that didn't happen. Here we go. I know something bad is gonna happen. He, he asked if he had a piece, so I got a piece on me. I have been looking forward to this all week. Where will you taste the cassata, Tom? Oh. oh, more wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a. Don't so yeti. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother. She would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellente. Bravo, bravo. Oh, Benny. Oh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? See, please. <laughs> and to drink a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Okay. Huh? Uh, enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the roof, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you. No. 
I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> ah, for you? And for you. Ah, <laughs> Peppy! The meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with a joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> Get down! <laughs> Let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. Shit, watch out! Fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it. Man, that's some bull crap. Pippi is dead. Put these greasers, Tommy. Take them all out. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, that was dumb of me. Oh, crap. Boss, I got this. Try to keep your head down. Okay, I'm, I'm messing up. I'm a little, a little rusty, guys. Just a little. Okay. Thank goodness. You little mug. Come on, Tommy. Nah, I'm angry. Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. Son of a gun. I see him. Dang it. Took a hit. Come on, you son of a gun. I know, I'm always going for headshots. What the? Gotcha. Okay, I need some ammo. Man, a Don would be dead by now. Sixteen rounds, nine rounds. Come on, let's get these rounds. Let's get these rounds. Oh 
Okay, that was terrible. That was sad. Got one guy left. Dogs like you get put down. Oh, his car gone. Where this fool at? Oh, I see him in the smoke. Don't sell Yuri, boss. It's clear. Salary did, Tommy. Sorry about that. All he had was a shotgun. He couldn't survive. We weren't fast enough. They made this look realistic. Oh, look at the balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's jacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. All right. Step on it, Tom. Every minute Carlo's still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. Sure, bus. Can't believe these bastards had the brass balls to wreck my car. Had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. At his sons, I'll be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's gonna make her lonely till the day she dies. For what? Some dough to buy his dope? And my foot through his face. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad this happened. I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels like it. You take a guy in. You give him a place in your family. You give him respect. And this, this is how he repays you? If he's done this, what else has he squealed on? The farm, the betting house, the ambush at the parking garage, any of them could have been him. Jesus Christ, someone's been ratting us out to Morello for years. And the time we work it out is when his guys come this close to bumping me off? You ever see me whack a guy, Tom? It don't happen much, so you know I'm gonna make it special. So have you guys been following along? Carlo is the one from the, the very beginning where he wanted to go out on collection runs. And uh, he was basically the Don's driver. Uh, he came with us in the last chapter at the parking garage. Look how you run. Bass, why don't you let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. <laughs> what the fuck? You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. <laughs> You okay, Buzz? Yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! Help me, someone! Oh, Come great. Here, we got Carlo. a chase. Why is he not running faster than this? They're going to kill me! Come on, Tommy. Hey, we ain't finished with you. Tommy, please. I can explain. I want to hear his explanation. Think about this, Tom. Please. Let me talk to the boss. I can explain everything. God dang it. Oh, Tommy, you gotta know. Morello, 
he was gonna kill mom. I had to do it. I had to. They made me do it, Tommy. Please, I can explain. Is he still alive? I'm not sure. Recognized you. What do you do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah, that's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, he did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. That all right with you? Of course. Yeah. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. God damn it! <laughs> What happened? I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Step your crying. Can't have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. <clears throat> so the iron must have figured Carlo was the rat. God damn it. <laughs> Even here myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up! <laughs> We've been at war since Kill Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell the little boys to keep their eyes peeled and their powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. Hold on. That's his brother? I was about to ask who was Sergio, unless I missed something. But the way they say little brother, it's like it's the first time that they're um, letting it be known. I was about to say, I guess that's his right hand man. So, um,. Yeah. Carlos says they they were going to kill his mother. That's why he did it. Just like with Frank, they threatened his, his wife and daughter. So it's like, what do you do in that situation? Well, like Tommy told Frank, he, he could have went to, uh, to them for help. And maybe they could have worked it out, but... We'll see, guys. Uh, again, hope you're enjoying this series. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Please like as well. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.